Well, the first criminal trial of a former president has officially begun. Former President Donald Trump is accused of falsifying business records to hide hush money payments made to porn actor Stormy Daniels leading up to the 2016 election. Now, the first task is to seat a jury. ABC's Christian Cordero is at the courthouse. He tried to work every legal angle to avoid this day. This morning, cameras followed former President Donald Trump as he departed Trump Tower, as his motorcade arrived at court, and as he took his seat, now set to stand trial in his hush money case. Along with former President Trump, hundreds of prospective jurors walked through the doors of criminal court. Twelve will eventually decide whether to convict or acquit a former U.S. president of a crime for the first time ever. The standard is, is not, do you know who the defendant is? That's not what it is. The standard is not, do you know anything about the case? The standard is, can this person objectively evaluate the evidence? And that's where it's going to be tricky. The court is asking prospective jurors 42 questions like, have you ever attended a rally or campaign event for Donald Trump and where they consume their media? Trump is charged with falsifying business records to conceal a hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels, who has alleged a long denied affair. For nine straight months, the defendant held documents in his hand containing this key lie. Trump has pleaded not guilty and denies any wrongdoing. And all I can do is tell the truth, and the truth is that there's no case. They have no case. The former president has made several efforts to avoid this first day on trial, including approximately a dozen attempts to delay the case and two attempts to have the judge taken off of the case. This morning, while complaining about a gag order imposed on him, Trump posted, I want my voice back. He'll have the opportunity to be heard on the record and says he plans to take the stand in his own defense. I would testify, absolutely. No cameras allowed in court while it's in session. Still photographers were allowed in briefly this morning, and three veteran sketch artists are tasked with capturing the intangible, as one of them put it. Once a jury is seated, testimony will begin. That is expected to take another four to six weeks. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, New York.